Dante Certification Level 2, Second Edition. Basics of Dante Domain Manager. When people ask about Dante Domain Manager, sometimes they have difficulty understanding what it does because they're trying to think of it as a singular tool. But really, Dante Domain Manager is more like a whole toolbox carrying multiple tools, each with its own purpose. If I try to explain a toolbox by describing, say, a wrench and a screwdriver, it's difficult to understand what these tools have in common just by looking at the outcomes they produce. Now, usually there's a theme for the tools we put in a toolbox. For instance, at home, I have one toolbox I use for woodworking. I have another that I use for my electrical projects. So, what's the theme for Dante Domain Manager? Well, certainly all of these tools enhance the Dante network, but more importantly, these are enhancements that couldn't really be added to the Dante product themselves. There's something that required a different topology. It required a central server. Now, of course, once you pick up the toolbox, you automatically get everything in it. If you don't choose to use everything in Dante Domain Manager, that's okay, that's up to you. Those features will be sitting there waiting for you if you change your mind later. In level two, we just wanna make sure that if you have to work on a managed Dante system, you know how to log in and find your domain. From that point, Dante Controller works just as it always does. Okay, so let's start with logging in. As you know, when you launch Dante Controller, it automatically scans the network and shows you the devices. But if devices are managed by Dante Domain Manager, you won't see anything right away. Everything will be hidden until you enter your credentials. To do that, in Dante Controller's tool ribbon, you'll see an icon for Domain Configuration. Click on that and you'll see the server login screen. Dante Controller will remember how to log into the last server you logged into. But if you need to enter a new IP address or a domain name, just click on the button for DDM Server Connection. You can choose Automatic Discovery if it's been set up for that, or more likely, you can enter an IP address or a domain name. Then click Use This Server. Now that the server location is known, I'll just enter my credentials. Now, for this system, I am the administrator, but we can make different accounts with different levels of authorization. Once I've logged in, you'll see a new section in the tool ribbon. It shows I'm logged in as admin, and here we have a selector where we can choose the domain we want to work in. It defaults to showing the unmanaged domain. That will show Dante devices that have not been linked to Dante Domain Manager. On my network, I don't have any devices like that. They're all protected. So if I select the lobby, I'll see a few sources feeding my DSP in that area. If I select Auditorium, I'll see the devices there. From that point, I can use Dante Controller just like normal. Now, if you try to click on something and Dante Controller isn't letting you do it, be aware that Dante Domain Manager can give you view-only privileges. And this has uses beyond just enterprise networks. Let's take a church, for example. The AV department is often largely run by volunteers. Well, when someone first starts working with you, you could give them the ability to change subscriptions to the stage, but not to the PA system. You can't change clocking. You can't change IP addressing and things like that. They'd still be able to see those settings in here. So if they see something wrong, they can offer advice to you. But as the tech director, you could say, I want to make the decision if we're going to make a change there. OK, so what should you remember about Dante Domain Manager? It is a toolbox full of tools that enhance the Dante network. The common thread is that each one of these features really requires a central server. If you need to work on a managed network, you'll be given credentials with levels of authorization. The devices in the network can be broken into domains or standard groups that you would work with, and the people managing the network can give you access to some or all of the domains, and they can give you varying levels of authority in those domains. So that's a basic look at Dante Domain Manager. If you'd like to learn more, certainly continue on to level three certification. And of course, we'll also have a series of Dante Domain Manager administration courses.